Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So today I want to talk about the horror that is PE class in school, in high school in particular, and how it just does not accomplish its goals. So to give you a bit of context, I grew up in Germany, I went to school in Germany, I lived there for like 22 years uh, until I moved to the Netherlands. So also all of my experiences with PE classes are of course based on, you know, what I was exposed to. So the German education system and how PE classes uh, operate in that education system, particularly the one in Northern Westphalia, which, you know, is the state of Germany because there are 16 different states in Germany and 16 different education systems. It's quite complex. But I think despite this limitation, you could say, um, I, I suspect that my experiences are uh, pretty universal, um, that others, you know, not just in Germany, but also in other countries will have kind of experience like the same things. Another thing that we should mention when talking about context is that in Germany, PE classes are mandatory. There's no way to get around it unless you are physically handicapped. At least that was uh, the way it was back then. I don't know about now, but uh, back then it was mandatory. You had to um, take it from pretty much first grade until for me, 12th grade, which was my last grade in school. And I hated it so much that in the last couple of years of high school, I actually took up some extra courses which would then mean that I had like too many courses for the final calculation of my GPA, which means that the low, that the course with the consistently lowest grades would just kind of be dropped from my GPA calculation, which was PE. So um, this is uh, this is how I like gamed the system and made the impact less horrible on my uh, on my GPA. But uh, it was definitely not, uh, it, it wasn't a fun experience. So the first thing that I want to mention is that PE classes, at least the ones that I had consistently throughout my 12 years in school, promoted a very um, restrictive and very narrow and very um, tedious way of exercise. What I mean specifically is that uh, it was basically only based on team sports, you know, like football, so American football and European football badminton, basketball, dodgeball, all these kinds of uh, team activities and rather little time was spent on uh, more individual things like, I don't know, like gym style strength training or cardio. We did very little of that. And now this is extremely frustrating if you absolutely hate team sports, just like I do. I, I hate it. I'm not good at it. For me, sports and exercise it's just something that i do like by myself that i don't want to do with other people having to continuously do these team sports that i really was not interested in in any kind of way um made it very difficult to enjoy the whole process this might also just be an idiosyncrasy of the german system because you pretty much cannot choose what you're going to do you you know it's like you you have your classmates and all of you go to the same pe class and then you just do whatever the teacher tells you to there's no way to like really go for like different tracks or specializations or courses within that system like everybody just ends up doing the same thing and um you know going through like the same experiences which i guess is also a way to accomplish i don't know like team building team spirit whatever but uh, it does have its downsides which is uh which is that you know whatever the teacher decides um that's what you're gonna do and that's what you're gonna have to put up with and in my case it was a lot of team sports. This is of course not just a problem if you're not a team sport person, but it's also a problem if you do not really have any prior experiences with these types of team sports. You know, like of course somebody who already knows how to play football or basketball is going to have like an advantage in that, like a hundred percent. This is not something that you usually have in uh, in other classes in school. Like, you know, when you start doing calculus, I, I think there's going to be very few kids who have had, you know, calculus before and who already know all of this. But in PE class, that is, of course, like way more likely to happen. A lot of the kids that I um, that I went to school with, they were a member of like one sports club or another. So they had an innate advantage, not just in that particular sport, but also in other sports in general, because some of the movements, hand-eye coordination types of things, uh, rules, maybe to some extent, they they extend to other sports besides the one that you that you know and the one that you have been training in for a very long time. This problem was even more compounded by like just the general lack of explanation of how these different uh, different sports worked. Uh, it was more like, oh, this is this is a ball, this is a football, and this is how you kick a goal, and now do it. So that also felt very very frustrating because there's there was just always this pressure to you know just 
hear the explanation maybe once or twice and then you just have to do it like in front of everybody um, which is very awkward if you are not very good at hand-eye coordination and all these types of things which I definitely absolutely wasn't um, it was very embarrassing um, I just hated it so inevitably this leads to a situation where you have like one small-ish group of uh, students who pick it up very quickly and another like group of people who are quite mediocre and then another group of people who, who just suck at it and I never really witnessed that people moved a lot like between those different groups it's more like those people who already knew how to do it or who were just you know extremely talented and they picked it up super quickly they stayed in that top group like the middle stayed in the middle group and the bottom stayed in the bottom group and it just wouldn't really budge a lot and uh that's you know experiencing that time and again also kind of i don't know it uh it doesn't it doesn't give you an incentive to actually try a lot because you are like, well, well, why, why bother? I mean, it's probably gonna be the same thing all over again. Where you know, even if I try it, it's not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to pick it up in the in the time given. I understand what they are trying to achieve with this. You know, I I guess the goal is to uh, is to expose you to different types of sports, um, and you might just find one that you like and you might stick with it, and that's that's good for you. But um, that's never really how I experienced it. It was just more like how I perceived it was like, okay, I I suck at football, American football and European football. I suck at dodgeball. I also suck at basketball. I suck at badminton. I just suck at everything. So that's, I guess that's also not really a message that you should send to young people, but I guess I'm not the only one who who experienced it like that. So and because it also felt so rushed, because you just had to, we were just kind of expected to pick it up really quickly. And then, you know, there was like maybe like four weeks. So like one lesson a week and then like four or five weeks, you were doing the same thing. And then there was an exam. Just all felt very rushed because you realistically wouldn't really go out with your friends and practice badminton or something. I've never really witnessed that happening. Uh, pretty much all the all the learning and all the training and exercising that just took place during PE class. Um, so very limited time and kind of high pressure. So in the end, it just felt kind of rushed and confusing and it felt more like a punishment rather than something that is, was supposed to be enjoyable in some ways, I guess. And the major reason for why I perceived it that way was the grading. The grading is the real humiliation because you get grades for this. And the way that we were given grades was kind of weird. So the grading scheme was, was as follows. I still vividly remember us actually doing some cardio, which was basically just uh, running around like all 30 of us in a stuffy gymnasium without airco in like the middle of summer, um, just running in a circle, just jogging. And we had to do that for, I think, 40 minutes. And the grading scale in Germany runs from, uh, runs from one being the top grade to six, which is the lowest. Um, kind of weird when you think about it, but you know, it's like A to F. And then of course you have these increments like one plus, one, one minus, two plus, two, two minus, etc. And the way that we were graded was that um, if you were able to run the full 40 minutes, you got a one plus. If you were able to run a 39 or 38 minutes, I forgot if it was one or two minute increments, but then you would drop one like grade point. So you would go from a one plus to a one, a one minus, a two plus, et cetera, et cetera. And this was the same thing with other things, you know, when we had to, uh, when we had to do football, it's like, I don't know, like who shot the most goals, got the best grades. So people were actually also actively pitted against one another because in some, uh, I forgot which, which sport that, that was exactly, but it was something with like the, uh, the person who shot the most goals had like the, the best grade. And then the person who had like the, the who shot the second most goals um, had like the second highest grade, which is of course it introduces like all of this competition and doesn't pay any attention to individuality between um, between students and also as to how much work you actually had to put into it, because if you were if you were already able to run 39 minutes on your first try and then in the end you know you're able to run 40 minutes, and you get the highest grade that doesn't seem quite fair if you compare it to somebody who maybe was able to run zero minutes or maybe okay realistically 10 minutes and they were able to go up to 30 minutes you know by that logic they would have something like a c even though they put in probably a lot more effort to actually get to that point 
Um, so the whole grading was also just, uh, I, it felt more like a sport competition than them actually trying to grade your progress and how you develop, which I think is the more appropriate way of, uh, of grading something like this. The icing on the cake was what we in Germany call the Bundesjugendspiele. So the Bundesjugendspiele or the, um, well, federal youth games, I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna call them youth games. Um, they're basically like a once a year a sporting event set up by the state. I think it's on the state level or maybe on the federal level. I don't know. Um, where basically you, you have to do some, some, you know, you have to run track, you have to, I don't know, like throw a ball or something like that. And then you're also evaluated by like objective metrics, you know, like you throw a ball and it flies like 20 meters, you get like, I don't know what, a hundred points. You throw a ball and it flies like, I don't know, 25 meters, you get 150 points. For all of these different tasks, you would collect points. And then in the end, if you had enough points, you got a diploma. This was not supposed to like replace a grade in, uh, in PE class, but it totally did in our case. And, uh, like in some years they actually phased out just like the participation diplomas or like the participation trophy which is already kind of sad to give that out but uh then i'd never i didn't get anything like i didn't get a participation trophy i just got nothing and uh i got, got like a really bad grade so then they literally based your grades on a competition which is really unfair. Another thing that I found really weird is that PE class definitely reinforced um, quite old-fashioned and toxic gender stereotypes in uh, in our school. I hope they're not allowed to do this anymore because it was just bullshit. Um, so sometimes, you know, when we, we were actually given a choice between what to do, it was also not really a choice because it was more like, oh, the girls are gonna do, um, I don't know, they're gonna play dodgeball and the guys are gonna play football. So I'm like, well, what about some girls who wanna play football and guys who wanna play dodgeball? And of course, you know, what about people who do not identify as a man or a woman or as a boy or a girl? It's it's problematic in so many different ways, but um, it's definitely didn't, it felt very weird because then I was also sometimes like, dang it, I, I wish I were a girl right now. I really don't wanna play football. So I also don't think this is a healthy message to send to young, impressionable um, teenagers who are still trying to like find themselves and find out who they are, maybe also their gender or sexual identity. It's very problematic. Also, what we never actually ever talked about were things like nutrition or healthy habits or um, generally just how the body works, I guess. I mean, I guess that's also partially, you know, biology class but then in biology class it was more about like what is a carbohydrate and like what is a protein and what are amino acids rather than how how you can i don't know like have a balanced diet which can also help you to achieve certain exercise goals that you have um so i really felt like i, I always felt like that was a bit odd that we never talked about that at all not even about like certain muscle groups and like what what actually happens in the body when you do when you exercise so yeah, that was a bit weird. So in the end, what did all of this lead to in my case? Well, I hated sports for a very, very long time. I absolutely hated it. Um, and I only ever felt that the only one thing that I was good at was cycling because that's fairly easy. And I really like, um, I really like doing like cardio types of things. It definitely also contributed to some very unhealthy uh, thought patterns regarding exercise and sports, you know, things like to, to if I, why should I try anything new? Because I'm probably gonna fail anyways. And then if I fail, it's humiliating. So uh, it took me a lot of time to, um, to actually start exercising. And now, now, now I go to the gym like four times a week and I really like it. But you know, just to get out, but I sometimes still have it that I'm like, you know, when I, when I wanna try something new in the gym, I'm like, oh my God, like what if somebody sees me and I do it incorrectly and uh, it's gonna be so humiliating. Um, and I think that PE class definitely contributed a lot to this, um, to this anxiety, I guess, or just this like fucked upness, uh, in my brain. So thanks for that. It's like, I guess the bottom line is that the way in which PE classes were taught in our high school were just, you know, uh, throughout my entire school life were just, uh, was just very counterproductive, very problematic. And I wish that, you know, we actually had the opportunity to choose between different sports and not just have to you know do what the teacher tells us to um and that it were ungraded because or at least that you would actually grade people's um, you know like how how much effort they're putting into it and how much they're improving rather than 
you know what the end result is which is obviously extremely biased i definitely think i'm not the only one who had such a resoundingly negative experience with pe classes in school so let me know in the comments down below and as always uh, thank you for watching if you want to see more of our videos uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you will you will be notified when there's a new video available and i'll see you guys in a new video very soon